Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Let Me Be Frank Productions. Speaking of Let Me Be Frank Productions, we've got a brand new show called Hamilton the Musical LTD, and it's based a little bit about Hamilton Industries. Let's go to the museum and check out Mr. Jim Moran. Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay. I'm here at the Hamilton Museum, Two Rivers, Wisconsin. Here with Jim Moran. How you doing, Jim? Good. Jim, good. what's your what's your title here? Um, I am the uh, manager, the curator, the master printer. You are the master printer. Now we're talking about Hamilton a little bit. Going back, J. E. Hamilton. Who was this guy? He was a local guy who had uh, failed twice as a gold prospector and was asked one day to make type for a friend because working in the local chair factory he was good with a little foot powered scroll saw so that he was good making ornamental shapes and therefore he was asked to make type for a friend the kind of type he made uh, worked out really well back from prospecting in south dakota starts this processing of of hollywood letter type how did it expand it, it grew for two interesting reasons. Number one, you would think, well, Two Rivers in 1880 is the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah. Well, the thing about that is it was geographically in the middle of the country. So you think of Chicago, Detroit, Milwaukee, Madison, Minneapolis, St. Paul are all exploding in size. If they all need wood type, if only for newspaper headlines, that was a lot of business that he could get to the customer in half the time of all of his competitors. It's his time in a shop because not only is he a businessman, he's a, he, he's a workman and he knows how to operate these, these, these machinery. And when he goes to print shops, he's seeing disorganization. And that's when he starts building furniture for print shops. Right. The uh, composing tables, the yeah. type cabinets, things like that. You know, the type cabinet alone is just a common sense thing. If you sell somebody enough stuff, where do they put it? Exactly. So the development of type cases um, might not have been invented by him, of course. But on the other hand, he's standardizing the business yeah. because anything made out of wood, whether it is the uh, uh, supporting furniture or spacing material, Anything like that, he's making for the printer. So now he becomes your one-stop shop. The innovation keeps happening. With well, you, you got the Hamilton Industries making of the wood lettering, and which became a smaller part of the business. All of a sudden, dryers. Well, what yeah. the heck happened with dry dryers? You can imagine yes. how difficult it is to give a tour. We're talking type. <laughs> I type know, cabinets, I know, and we're going to talk about clothes that. dryers. <laughs> Well, if the inventor of the clothes dryer hadn't lived in Two Rivers, it might have been a different story. Okay. So he comes to Hamilton with this patent, and because they were fabricating in metal, it's like, well, this is just another Hello? metal box. It's got different guts, but they, uh, they decide to make it, and, you know, they, they just sort of overwhelm the industry. My new show called Hamilton LTD, the musical, features... Uh, focuses on 1968 when the hospital, uh, I can't remember the name, came in and merged with Hamilton to make fumes and other hospital furniture. What was that time like in Two Rivers? I mean, it was a bustling industry. How many employees did they have at that time? Do you remember? Well, uh, I, it was before my time there, okay. but um, I know that they peaked about 10 years later with 2,000 people. 2,000 people worked at Hamilton. You know, and this is in a town of maybe 10,000. Yeah. So you were probably related to somebody in the <laughs> factory, right? Join us next week as we talk to Jim about the Hamilton Museum. Yeah, Jim Moran, I tell you what, Moran Printing on Main Street years ago, and now he's the executive director out there at the Hamilton Museum. If you got kids, bring it out there. they got some cool things that you can do to learn about printing. Hey, we'll get to my picks of the week real quick. Number three, you can come and see me tomorrow night, Friday night. i got all my gang there. Frank's Tribute, we got Barbara Streisand, Yakov Shmirnoff, Reba, uh, and some other people. Just come on out. Hey, Paul Evans is going to be in that show, too, as awesome. Neil Diamond. Number two, Scroll Nut Zipper, Saturday night at the Widener Center. And if you haven't seen this guy, my number one pick he is hilarious Sunday night Nate Nate Bargatz he is I was listening to him on YouTube this morning so funny Sunday night at the Widener Center get on out there seeing good reviews about that yeah All right. yeah yeah franklygreenbay.com thank you thank you hair's looking good